there were, were no symptoms before, during, and after. Unbeknownst to Carol Porter, she had a neuroendocrine tumor, cancer. She had no idea until she went to see a GI doctor for acid reflux. Had a colonoscopy and an endoscopy. Um, they found a little tumor on my stomach, and um, that's what it turned out to be. Mercy Medical Center oncologist Dr. Sandy Kataya says neuroendocrine tumors are rare. They develop from hormonal cells, but scientists don't really know why. She says it can be a difficult cancer for doctors to diagnose if they don't know what they're looking for. It's mainly found in the small bowel, and what happens is a lot of people have very vague symptoms for many, many years. So they'll have, you know, this uh, flushing, dry flushing, they'll get diarrhea, they'll get wheezing and they'll go to their doctor and they'll be diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome or something else and it'll take about five to seven years before they get diagnosed correctly. Other symptoms include abdominal pain and cramping, reddish spots or veins often on the face, chest and arms, bluish spots on the skin, heart palpitations, weight gain or loss, unstable blood pressure and unstable blood sugar. If it's caught early, like in Carol's case, the treatment of choice is surgery. She had a small portion of her stomach removed and her prognosis is very good.